Greetings, Witcher. Hear about the White Lady. As I hoped. My notice has been hanging so long, sun's near bleached it blank. Managed to decipher it somehow, but I need more information. Ask away. Afraid to go out in the fields anyway for fear of ending up like Miko and his band. So the White Lady haunts your fields? True. Just past the hut near the old tower. Folks say she's made her home there. Mekko and his band, who are they? Four lads, drunkards and good for nothing at all. They drained a few pints and decided they'd all plow the White Lady. Maybe then she'd bugger off. Romantics. Hmm. Seems the White Lady spurned their advances. They still lie in the field. Folk are afraid to bury him. So, will you save us from her? Yeah, I'll take care of it. Using more effective means than brave Miko. <laughs> saw just before he died gave him quite a scare. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. Pale skin, but no blood loss. This is no vampire. I expected to see four bodies. Deep uneven tracks. Someone fled blindly in a panic. Stairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale, cracked. Ghouls hmm. tracked the body downstairs, me. but it She's wasn't their kill. Me. Better find something that belonged to her. She'll have to show then.
Greetings, Witcher. Seems your white lady's a noon wraith. That means... Gods, poor Lucy. Lucy. She was gonna marry, right? Yeah. Her parents swore her to a smith from the city. Well to do, sure, but older and more brittle than elven ruins. Lucy ran from the altar out into the fields. Where she slashed her veins. Used the silver dagger she'd gotten for the betrothal. Wait. Let me show you. Lucy's parents couldn't bear to sell it. Bury it, even. They left it in my care. I want to send her away, but I've got to bring her close. Lure her first. I need an object to belong to her. Dagger would be perfect. Take it, but kill Lucy. Promise me. She shouldn't suffer no more. Solved. You can go back to your fields. Thank you. Your coin. And may fortune smile upon you. Which it even sounds <laughs>
swear, you're worse than door-to-door -door peddlers. Leave, Witcher, or I'll find some iron jewelry for you, too. Help me! They'll burn me! They'll burn me alive! I've done nothing! Nothing? Nothing? Who concocted those poisonous potions? Who helped the Lodge of Sorceresses, sending them reports via Megascope? Who addled men's minds with magic, eh? I know you, Remy. I know you and your crimes. That was long past. It shan't happen again. Oh, we'll make sure it don't. Shackle him. He's cut too. Mummy! Can't allow this. No one's asking your mind, mutant. Still think you'll listen to me. Or to my sword. To me! At him! Thank you. If you hadn't intervened, they would have killed me. And Louisa and the boy, I, I tremble at the thought. Triss Marigold. Find her. Might be able to help you. I hope so. Take this. I must abandon magic for good. You might still find use for it. Perhaps the next time you encounter mage hunters. Yeah. Something tells me it won't be long. Farewell. Welcome, welcome. So long.
Welcome to the Seven Caps, the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangovers are wine begets the lucky. What's on the menu today? A few rounds of cards. Oh, wench, what quenches fire!
a headache again. I think I pissed me trees. a few rounds of cart.
that's pen, that's glue. But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld bosses, I disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Siri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novograd. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the temple guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. of service. What are you serving today? See you later. No, I have to go. care.
entire Syria collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Felwyn's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. An amulet! What a corpse teeth and kid. Let me have a look.
How about you take a break from hawking?
buy in or just show me what you've got on offer wouldn't mind a few rounds of card
Game of Gwent. How about?
not at all. Read it. But. Farewell. Oh, so oh. of you. Gentlemen! What's this about? This Duan sold Fistech to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They mean to kill me, steal my gold. Help me, please. What you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf. You despise humans, seek vengeance on us. But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, Poisoner! Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tech. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. Nothing. The bastard sold it all, which hardly makes him innocent. see any proof this man sold anyone Fistech, let alone contaminated powder. Can't let you kill him. Then you too shall die, Vatgen. Shame you happened on our path, and chose to stand in our way. Thank you, Witcher. Bloody elves, they'd invent any excuse to rob me. Please take this, a sign of my gratitude.
Oh! The butcher of Black King.
got my eye on you. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this, when I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either. A black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. High time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. With your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Sorry, got other things to worry about. Good luck, though. You'll need a bit of that. <coughs> it rains, it pours. Cowards all fled across the pontar, said and defended their father. What it be? What are you serving? Not hungry, not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent.
this. What'll it be? Farewell. No. Rum and supper, I never eat. What'll it be? Farewell. Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please! This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georgius George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. champion is the witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt gate.
Patty Gruber, I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. I'm ready. Hear that? A fight at last! Our champion, Archibald O'Neill, to face Geralt! Fight! best in Novigrad. Who do I gotta fight? Well, if you yearn to fight some more, you must certainly face the Captain of the Guard. is if you're prepared to fight Captain Mortimer! I'm ready. Let's do this. Fight!
You have earned the honor to challenge Novigrad's champion, Durden the Tailor. You will find him in far corners and fight there as well after sundown. This is in case the first one breaks. One word and they'll cut you in the stops. My mind's like war. You. We're already taking bets. You've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found scrawny. In what world could you possibly defeat me? The newcomer may seem all skin and bones, but remember, he defeated the sergeant to the bloody baron of Velen. This elf's a dick. That been the case with all champions of Novigrad? No, I am the first. Do you know why they call me the Tailor? It began after I gutted some men with these very hands. <sighs> I knew that was going to be a shitty story. Came here to fight the Tailor, so let's do this. Novagraders, one and all, a momentous occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here, bitch. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. Time for a change of scene. Oh! The title belongs to the Drifter. If you've not had your fill of slapabouts just yet, 
You'll find other eager challengers in Velen and Skellige. Take some burnt flesh. What's he doing here? Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares. I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him, or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. <laughs> 